Vascular health is what vascular surgeons treat, which is basically peripheral arterial disease. There's a lot of different types of peripheral arterial disease, but they're all revolving around atherosclerosis or hardening of the arteries. So it's the same disease that causes hardening of the arteries in the heart that causes heart attacks or in the brain that causes strokes. And it's also um, something that causes leg pain with um, leg arteries that get blocked up. Um, and all the arteries in the body can be affected. So vascular health is treating all of the arteries in the body. Smoking does cause a rise in blood pressure. The biggest rise is with that first cigarette in the morning, but throughout the day, it does cause rises in blood pressure with every cigarette that's smoked. And in people that have underlying hypertension, the medications won't be as effective with these um, continuous rises in the blood pressure every time you have smoke a cigarette. Smoking is a big contributor to heart disease and stroke. In fact, it's the biggest risk factor that we know of that people control themselves. So with smoking causing hardening of the arteries and increasing atherosclerosis over time, those blockages in the blood vessels in the heart and in the arteries leading to the brain can cause heart attacks and strokes. When somebody quits smoking, the effect is almost immediate that their blood vessels start recovering, but it can take time and it can take years for that complete effect to uh, run its course and for blood vessels to become more normal. If people want to quit smoking, the first thing they need to do is talk to their primary care physician. They will have a lot of information about smoking cessation programs. Also on the website for Centera, there's smoking cessation information.